what interactivity is and to how to set up your computer for programming with Python interactive. In other words, how to set your computer up in order to program with a graphical user interface. In computing, interactivity is the way that people use computers as well as the ways in which the computers respond to what people do. The interactivity between a user and a computer is made up of specific interactions. An interaction between a user and a computer happens when a computer receives input from the user um, or provides output to the user. As you know, both hardware and software can be interactive. And the more interactive something is, the more responsive it becomes to the person who uses it. So that's what um, interactivity is, and um, the reason that we use it is because this is the modern way that we interact with our computer. We've gone all the way from um, writing words on a screen to pushing with things with a mouse to uh, pushing buttons physically on the computer. So interactivity is the modern way of doing things. So we're going to learn how to use it in Python as well. It used to be that computers were not interactive at all. As you can see here in the illustration, this is how people used to interact with computers. And still sometimes you'll see this um, when you work with certain programming languages. You know, you want to get under the hood and work on a computer. A lot of times you'll go back to what we call the dot prompt. But today, um, we use a graphical user interface, a G, uh, what's called GUI. This is all of the windows, buttons, menu items, icons, and dialog boxes a computer user is going to interact with, right? Interactivity requires some kind of an interface, and that's why a graphical user interface is very effective. So an interface is a specific method that your computer interacts with you and you with the computer and the way you use an operating system or a program. GUIs usually use a pointing device that allows the user to click or touch items on the screen, such as compared to the text-based command line interface, and that only allowed your user to type commands with a keyboard. So what the benefit of using a Windows style interface over here is that um, your user can click on things with the mouse. So um, Idle and Turtle and the Turtle pro program use a GUI interface. So in order to use a GUI interface, we have to prepare Idle for interactivity. Uh, both Idle and the Turtle use a graphical interface, and it's a GUI package that's called TKinter, which is short for TK Interface, which is a graphical user interface. And it's a software package. A software package is just a module that can be used by a programming language. So what you're going to do is you're going to use Python commands with the classes in TKinter, and that's going to create a Windows-style program. So what's the advantage of Windows-style program? Well, they usually run inside click resizable windows, and they have title bars, menus, taskbars, minimize, maximize, and close buttons. That's these, minimize, maximize, close buttons. So you should get a product that looks something like this. When Idle and the Turtle Graphics window, window are both trying to use TK Enter at the same time, um, you're going to have a problem because TK Enter may cause the Turtle Graphics window to freeze. For that reason, you need to use a modified program. So the first thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to use a shortcut to open a slightly modified version of Idle. After that, what I'll do is I'll show you how to, using a Mac 
uh, OS X operating system to use a small application that functions like a Windows shortcut. So here we are in Windows. So what you do is you click the Start button, then click My Computer. In the more modern versions, it might just say Computer. Okay, in the My Computer Explorer window, navigate to and open your Section 5 folder. And this is in your Course folder. Okay, your Section 5 folder should open up, and then you would double-click the Idle Interactive shortcut right here. See this little arrow in the corner? It says Idle Interactive. Double-click this. You should see the Python shell pop up like this. And it should say no subprocess. You know, if this is what happens, that's great. That's what you need. If not, um, then what you would do is this. You would right-click the idle interactive shortcut, then left-click properties. Then you would click the start menu, then click my computer, or an old, in a newer version, we just say computer. Just so make sure you're leaving the Idle Interactive Property window open. You're going to use it again. In the My Computer Explorer window, click the address field and type in slash Python32. Or if you have a newer version, you might just click type uh, Python32 in the search window and open that folder. If the Python folder opened, then you're fine. If it didn't, just navigate to uh, the folder where, where you installed Python. In the Idle Interactive Properties window, uh, you go back to the Interactive Properties window here, you click the target field, then press the left arrow key to move the cursor all the way to the beginning of the field. That'd be over. Press it a few times to make sure that the cursor is all the way to the left. In the target field, make sure the start of the first file path matches the file path in um, your Python 32 Explorer window. If that is, isn't happening, change the properties uh, field to match. Remember, don't change the Python WE at the end of the first file path. What you're changing is this in orange. So you want to make sure that these match if this is an issue. Okay, and there's a second part that you've got to make sure that this matches this as well. So if you make those two changes, if there's an issue, um, that should fix it. If not, call me and I will help you with this. Okay, so now what you do is you click back to the start field and press the delete or backspace keys to delete the text is there in the start in. You come down here and click OK. So if you get an error message, click OK and then check the steps to check for anything you might have missed. Or you can go to the class section and that will do it for you. In the Section 5 folder, double click the Idle Interactive shortcut to run it. And like I said, if Idle still is an opening, um, get help from me or someone else who's familiar with your computer. You can always use the unmodified version of idle to write the code for this section, but you won't be able to run it. You need the shortcut to make it work. So that was the instructions on how to prepare your idle for Windows Explorer. Now I'll show you how to prepare idles for your Mac. The way you do it with the Mac is you open your Section 5 folder, and this is in your uh, resources underscore Mac underscore OS X. Uh, underscore 10 underscore 6 folder. Um, just what you need to do is double click the idle interactive application to run it. Come in here, open it up, and double click this to run it. Okay, if you see this when you open it up, that's the uh, idle shell. So if idle doesn't open up, uh, just get just call me and I will help you open it, okay? Or you can contact someone who's familiar with your computer. You can use the unmodified version of idle to write the code for this section, but in order to run the code, you need the shortcut to work.